Not as bad here as it is in New York City, but this is the fifth air quality alert for Kansas City this year. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Ketz. And I am Bria Beery. We have team coverage tonight to explain how we will be impacted. Rebecca Gannon is live with what's causing our issues. Guys, you just saw what it looks like in the Northeast, kind of like an apocalyptic movie scene, right? Kansas City doesn't look like that at all, but that's because our air pollution isn't caused by the Canadian smoke. Our air pollution is caused by us, and right now on the evening commute is the worst time of day for it. Are you the guy who decides the air quality is bad? Ultimately, yes. Doug Norsby really cares about Kansas City's air. So the last numbers that I saw were... He also really cares about the data that tells him what's going on in Kansas City's air. Because, let's be honest, it's hard to see the air. But the air around Kansas City has been worse lately. Doug Norsby can tell you it's been bad the last few days, and he can tell you why. But nothing has been able to clear out the ozone that we keep generating here in Kansas City. So each morning, we start with a higher level, a higher baseline, and then add to it. So it's it's been kind of a rough a rough go. We want to use common sense. You know, if there's something you absolutely have to do, you know, be smart about it. Dr. Todd Fristo recognizes most people can handle the questionable air quality, though people with chronic respiratory conditions like asthma are more impacted by it. And there's a new group now in that category. And then with all the COVID stuff, we're having some patients that have had post-COVID long haul syndrome that have had some pulmonary issues, and they may be more sensitive to some of the air quality issues that are out there. So try to be more like Doug. During ozone alert days, I, I stay and I, I work remotely. I would encourage people to avoid the drive. We want everybody to contribute and try to lower emissions to protect the people who don't have a choice. All right, so as I mentioned right now with the commute home, this is the worst time of day because we've had that pollution building all day. We've had the hot sun. We're getting a little bit of a breeze and that's why we don't have an alert for the rest of tomorrow or anything like that. But still, if you are sensitive at all to this kind of weather, just stay inside. Continue watching KMBC. Don't be like me. Don't stay out here. If you do have to get outside, make sure it's after the sun goes down or early tomorrow morning before, say, 10 a.m. Here in Kansas City, Rebecca Gannon, KMBC 9 News. Rebecca, Back to you guys. Thanks.